Hello, and welcome to, or welcome back, to some more Satisfactory. Um, so I've added a little bit. Uh, I kind of built this stuff up here. Uh, as you can see, we have a bunch of concrete coming out now. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, I have these cool things over here. Um, that Basically, these are just four things set up. Once I get filter sorters, I'll set it up so that I have a box that comes out and will filter into all of these. Um, and then we made a few little alien proteins so we'll, we'll have some alien proteins now i didn't use all my alien proteins uh to make alien protein uh but i uh, used some of them uh and trying to at least get this thing up so we can put it in the ma'am in the ma'am in the ma'am uh let's see uh so i have crystals i think i need more crystals I need to get silica. Oh, I need to. Okay, I got to mix that. All right, makes sense. All right. We got the fire slugs done. The nutrients. Oh, I need I need to grab those. Okay, we'll grab those real quick. The mycelia, alien organisms. So we have this guy here. So we'll go ahead and research that bad boy. So once we get that. Uh, now we can do the inhaler. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, that's just to research it. That makes sense. Uh, I need to get some barrel nuts on me. Uh, we do have... Ooh, okay, that's... That may be a good thing to do. Hostile organism detection. All right, let's see. Let me go over here and get some of... What's in here? Um, I think I need leaves for something. I think... Uh, let's see. I don't have a lot of the barrel nuts. I might have to get some more. All right, let me go do this. We'll do some more researching. Let's see. Um, not enough of those. Uh, not enough of that. Uh, we'll have these guys here. Go ahead, research that bad boy. Get all this stuff done. Get that confirmed. We'll get this confirmed. Go ahead. That way we can research all of these. Well, I won't be able to search for those. What do I need for here? What is this making? A nutrient nutritional processor. Uh, that sounds like a fun thing to do. Uh, I don't have pipes though. That's gonna slow me down. I don't like being slowed down, game. I can't afford. It. I need more sulfur. I know where some sulfur is. I think I ran by some. All right. Oh, we got to go in here. I'm a little bit all over the place. It's a bit of a mess. Put those. Oh, I don't want those out of there. I want those back in there. Um, we'll put that in. We'll put that in. Put those in. Put all that stuff in. All right. Now let's go talk to this guy. Nope, not to that guy. This guy. This is the one I want to talk to. All right. Let's see. Improved melee combat. Uh, yeah, we want that one. All right, so let's go grab some of these things. Uh, the, the bashy stick. Uh, bashy stick is very helpful. Uh, I, I almost I almost got this without you guys, but that wouldn't have been fair. Um, I tried to at least save most of the research for, you know, while, while I'm online. All right, so I need 100 of these. All right, easy enough. Nope. Give me those. Uh, we'll get 200 cables and 1,500 wire. That's going to slow me down. All right. So should be good there. Oh, that's not, that's going to take me a while. Let's do it that way. All right. Do, 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 do. Should have probably got some of the other stuff I wanted to figure out how to do. Uh, we have lots of other things that we could do. Probably should have just grabbed all of my stuff. Now I gotta go over here and figure out what I need. This is a long run. Even hold down shift. Shift takes me a while still. Oh, I do do enjoy this game. So hopefully everybody's having a good Thanksgiving. If you're uh, in a place that celebrates that. Do, 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 do. Alright, we'll save that. Uh, let's go back to this one. Basic still production. Um, we could probably start that one. 
vehicles. Uh, so we need to get basically vehicle production. So I need, I need all kinds of stuff. Um, and then this one I need. I have the concrete. I need wire rotors. All right, wires, rotors. Doo, 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 doo. So I'll just go over here and grab a bunch of this stuff. Probably not nearly enough of it. Then we'll be able to make us a truck. We'll be able to drive our truck around. That'll be great. That'll be helpful. Let's see. Let's get some of these. Nope, nope. Let's get these. Ooh, I mean, I have enough of all those. I'll just take all of them. I'll be fine. Take all those. Why not? Oh, we don't need those right now. That will eventually just fill up and then stop making them. It'll be great. And just in case. All right. Lots of stuff. Way more than I hopefully need. But yeah, so a lot of uh, playing Satisfactory is kind of getting the items that you need, doing the research, and then pushing into further, further portions of the game. Uh, and, and that really is the, the gist of it. Just same thing with, with Factorio, same thing with pretty much any other factory game. It's, uh, it's trying to build your base so that you can get the research and get better stuff. Then at some point, I'm going to have to just go out and do a bunch of... Um, Figuring out and finding a bunch of hard drives so that we can activate the hard drives. This one, get those guys in there too. Get that guy there. Guy, those guys. Okay, so that guy is all good there too. So now we need to get steel because I think almost all of these want steel. Yeah, all this one still now. So even the blueprint. So everything here we basically need to build still with, which is fine. It's not not that big of a deal. So we'll go fire that off, and then. Get it. I want more inventory slots. Oh, they fix it. Okay. Milestone reached. R and D is aided your pocket dimension, added an additional handy fitness slot, and has provided an improved Zeno damper with increased strength and iron. Zeno Asher. Zeno Zapper. Make one more zapper. I'm going to take my zapper out of my inventory. And then I'm going to make a Xeno Basher. Yeah. And then we will put that onto here because that's a good place to put it. Along with that. Along with that. Yeah. Come here. Oh, now I got my stabby stick. Now some people are in trouble. All right, so that one's gone. Uh, jump pads we're not doing yet. Regular transport, we'll do that one. Oh, that, did I miss something? Oh, ooh. Oh, I didn't actually put all the stuff in that one. I have failed. I have failed this hitting. All right, so let's go downstairs and look real quick. So what I've done is I kind of cheesed it because uh, I do have a lot of concrete. So we have the concrete there. Uh, I have thrown a um, uh, a power slug in it. So this thing is now producing 45 per minute. So it's now producing 45 per minute. And that's going down here. And this is feeding this guy, which is then producing a grand total of 15 per minute uh, of concrete. This is uh, the, our, our, I think it was a pure node. 
uh, and I put a couple, or put a, a power slug in that. So this is producing 90, uh, and then I come down here and I split it into the two. Uh, and then I had to upgrade this belt all the way out to tier two so that it could carry the, the extra. And then that goes to another one that does another 45 per minute. So I basically have four of uh, these guys running at full blast, making as much concrete as I can to fill this thing up. And once it gets filled up, it basically just shoves things straight upstairs and just takes concrete and shoves it into the uh, the old grinder grindernator there. So the other thing I did um, after the last episode, if you actually saw the uh, the thumbnail, uh, I added four power stations over here, which is more than enough for all of our power stations for now. Um, so this this is enough to power our entire base without using the the biofuel. And then it's kind of set up in a way that I'll be able to come in and put another four stations in the front of it. Uh, I'll have to get more water because uh, uh, I think I can get a little bit more water out of it. But I think it's like 240. So I'd be able to maybe power one more sometimes. Uh, but not always. Uh, all right. But yeah, so that's what's going on in here. Now I need to find something to use my bashy stick on. Something, something's, something's waiting for it. It's just asking for it. Come here. You know, I've been looking for you guys, trying to run for y'all for weeks. And now that I got something to take care of you, now y'all don't want to play around anymore. Come on. How'd you hit me? You cheaty bastage. All right. What is this? Uh, this is ore, so that's a normal iron mine. That's not a bad idea. Um, but over here by coal, because I need to bring coal in. The problem is, uh, is that coal line right there basically powers those four and allows them to run at full speed. Uh, so if I pull anything off of that, uh, it, I'm asking for trouble. Uh, so I'm uh, probably not going to do that. But there was another mine over there. Question is, they think production assembler, yeah, foundry. So I need to put a foundry in. So I need to put a couple of foundries in. And the problem with putting foundries in is that it uh, it's a little bit more complicated to work, right? Uh, because it's got, you need two inputs. Uh, I need to figure out how much a foundry is going to, oh, I can do it here. Still ingot. So 45 and 45 and I'll get 45 out. So maybe, maybe I just put one foundry in. Uh, maybe that may be a plan. Um, and then I just kind of run up and kind of do the same thing where I, I pull, um, just, you know, basically just make one thing and then just let it kind of deal with itself. I'll be all right. So I need to get a couple of miners, uh, or hand miners so I can put those and turn them into actual miners. Let's see, portal miner. Do, 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 do. There's one. One more. Oh, there's two. All right, we're good. Because that way I can put one down on iron, one down on the coal that I need. And then I have all the stuff I need there. And then what I'll do is I'll run them over here to this guy. And we'll pull out... I think I'm going to pull out like these guys here. Put the foundry in there. That'll be fine. Okay. 
Yep, and then I'll just run. All right, I'll, I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We're making steel. It's going to be a minute, but we're going to make it. The real trick is going to be trying to get everything over here without it um, looking like a complete dog butt. Uh, and that's that in and of itself can be can be difficult. I guess if I really wanted to cheese, I could just put a, a couple of vehicles in. That, that could be fun. There's another copper. Oh, there's a gold slug up there. So if I take this guy and we put a miner in like that, that will be good. I know there's another iron over here too. I guess if I really wanted to, I could have just built that and then just ran steel that whole way. Uh, but what I will probably do is I'll end up having to clean this out and re re we run it uh, so that I can put in uh, the stack things instead. Because it's hard to get these to stack. I would just have to start running it next to it and then it just, it's... Here, where's your buddy at? Come on. Like that today. All right. And then, uh, so you can kind of set these things up where you just have the vehicles run back and forth, which isn't a bad plan. Um, Just put a miner in here. And let's go. I almost wonder if it's easier just to say, uh, I put. I really hate using tier two belts just because they're so expensive. And they are, they are spendy. You, you guys like that. And I should be able to pretty much put These guys next to this and kind of get away with it. This is going to take me a little bit of time to run it, but you know. Until you at least get trains. Once you get trains and, and you can start doing that stuff, it, it makes life a whole lot easier. Because trains can move a lot more. The, the problem is, is the tractor that you start with uh, doesn't do a lot for the old uh, the old throughput. Run these guys here. And I was smart. I don't know if I'll do it though. Uh, I could put a um, like a a splitter merger here, so I can merge the two the two coal lines together. 
And then once I merged the two coal lines together, I could split off one of the coal lines or split it off so that a way this thing could, you know, it wouldn't really get priority. It would get even. And if the, if the other side kind of clogged up, then it would start using it. But, but yeah, so a lot of this stuff is building. It's slow. It takes a long time to do it. Uh, and uh, especially when you're trying to get new stuff out. But we will get it starting to run. Do I have enough iron plates? Uh, maybe. Well, I, I'm really only putting one line in because I can kind of pull that line out as I go. Um, I probably should have broke it off from down here. So that it would have started emptying out and I don't end up with a bunch of coal on my backpack. I think it's, yeah, it's completely backed up. All right, that makes sense. Would you there? Let me get a power line. There. Done with you. That one should start. There it goes. That just start slowly building. And whenever you're doing this, make sure you go from the way basically the same direction this the belt is going you need to connect over here and then connect there if you do it the other way it will break it uh, and then you're gonna be like why doesn't my coal work and then you'll be sad potato you guys are being slow I don't like it On. There you go. That stuff is gone. That one is gone. Okay. Slowly, slowly running back to where we're trying to go. Nope. And you can kind of cross them. So if you really want to, you can set it up so that... Uh, you know, you can flip them in the middle and they'll run in each other and they'll be fine. It'll all work out. The belts will kind of uh, phase to each other. Doesn't really do anything other than look bad. Come on, you're just, there you go. Part of the problem is, is I'm basically running this thing to the very end of its its belt. And it doesn't always want to connect. The real trick is to make sure that my power isn't interrupted. Because that will make the sads. Like if I lose a little bit of, of, you know, for like a second, like it doesn't, because most of those should be kind of backed up, uh, but I don't want it to. Uh...
Oh, now I'm out of iron plates. I was afraid this was going to happen. So we'll go up here and get a couple of iron or a couple of sets of iron plates. Yeah, so it's it's coming along, uh, and it's really the you know as you build the game and and build your your uh, factory, uh, you'll start getting more and more stuff that will work. It's great. I love it. Uh, iron plates. Sure, that is way more than I need. Eventually get us some faster cars or you know, some cars anyway. That would be helpful. By the time we get back, I'll be able to get back and get uh the our guy should be back. I can't really see it. Let's see how far back toll is. And we should be slightly faster than the bottom because I don't think it's using the full belt. But these belts are super slow. That does not help. That is all good there. We see how far. Not good. Let's run back up here. Take this thing apart as we can get to it. Oh, we still got a ways for it to catch up. I was way ahead of it. So at least the bottom row's not too far behind until it stopped for some reason. Okay. I'll play your silly. Oh, that's why that makes sense. I turned off the, the miner and didn't turn it back on. Okay, fine. I'll turn it back on. You talking, but I can't hear you. Let's turn you back on. So that stuff is all going. So I'll probably end up having the top row feed into the power grid. That is probably going to be the smarter way to do that. That one is done. How far down here are we done? Not good. All right, I think we have worn out our welcome. We have definitely worn out our welcome. Um, and honestly, the, the only problem is, is, uh, I don't want to start depending on biofuel again. So I don't want these things to run out. And they're full. 
And then the other problem, so what would end up happening is if I let it run out, like the ones down here are out of fuel. This could be a problem. So we'll let that one run out. Hey, today, today, today. I guess, you know, I can just do this. It'll be fine. This will be fine. Just a slight amount of panic. Uh, I only got 39 of these. That's not good. I figured I would have had more. All right. So. Do this guy here. But now the problem is, is I don't really have a good indication of how far uh, the belts go. So I just kind of have to run them. All right, we'll keep that thing going. That'll be fine. All right. We'll run these things all the way over here. And this is just so I can kind of stretch out the belts as long as far as I can without needing to uh, find out exactly, start guessing. There may be an easier way to do this, but this way will work. Do that. And we will have still up here if we, it's the last thing we do today. So hopefully uh, this, this will come out on Thanksgiving and uh, hopefully everybody's having a good Thanksgiving. Have a time with your family and uh, your friends and hopefully you've eaten enough. And uh, you have lots of things to be thankful for. That's always good. Personally, uh, we're smoking a turkey and we'll probably do that again for Christmas. Uh, it's, I don't know, I, I'd like, smoked turkey is the best. Like, I know a lot of people will swear by... Um, Uh, our fried turkey, but uh, I can't have fried turkey because you normally uh, fried turkey is usually done in peanut oil, and uh, that doesn't work for me um, because uh, allergies. Uh, so I don't recommend it if you're allergic to peanuts. So instead, I go with the old smoked turkey. 
Ours is a uh, well, kind of a citrusy, kind of a lemony, lemony. We'll see how it turns out. At least that is the plan. You're still thinking about where you're you've gone. Okay. There. Go to that. Hopefully, once we get all this stuff in. Now, the other thing we're going to end up having to do is we're going to have to mix some concrete into the mix. Um, because the concrete, that won't be that difficult. I have concrete. I just, I just run a, a belt over to it or something. This stuff is all good here. Then we'll just go pick up the other belt. Clear that out, but I can do that later. All right. So now we have this cool thing where we have this guy up here. We have now you can get uh, floor holes uh, to kind of run through here. You don't have to. We're going to go still ingot here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of cheese this a, a slight bit. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to logistics. I'm going to go to mark one conveyor. I'm going to click here. I'm going to jump my happy butt down here. Put you guys just like that. Uh, the yellow says that it's... Uh, it's box is going through something else. Uh, it'll still work, uh, but it, it it will look funny, and I'm I'm fine with it looking funny. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this guy here. We'll go get rid of these. Get rid of that. And then I'm gonna put this guy this and like this we will take you here you to here then you can go t oh you don't like that All right, I put it too close. Uh, mistakes were made. Give it a little bit more room. A little bit more room. Do it like this. Come on. Nope. There you go. Go where I want you to go. You go to there, and you go to there. And now we can have those uh, once they decide to join us. Because it is quite a long run. So they are. They're almost there. We'll get some power to it. And then we will get... Um, Uh, start building the, the other things we need. I th think I can pretty much just bring it out. Because for the most part, I think we're just making still beams and still pipes. So I can just basically bring it out, divide it, send it one to each. I'm, and like I said, once again, it's not going to be the most uh, efficient item. Uh, but we can get, you know, get it at least moving. And then I'll have to get concrete over there. Uh, but I'm probably going to do the same thing where I I do that. And then I put a, uh, I'll drop a, a pick up to the floor. And then I'll just uh, have a cutoff from the, uh, the concrete that I have down here going. And just kind of let it do what we need it to do. All right. 
So now you, you, nope. Oh, we're not doing that today. Okay. That makes sense. I'm sure I just broke half the, the world, but it'll be all right. There you go. It's reconnected. I'll be okay. All right. So now coming out of here, I need to have production constructor. I'll need iron plates. Hopefully I have more of those. Cause this, this whole thing is it's so slow. Oh, it's so slow. Grab all those. We might need them. Do, 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 do. Let's get a constructor here. Do that. So now if I tell this guy to make still beams you want 60 in and you're gonna give me 15 out and if i do still pipes you want 30 in and you're gonna give me 20 out uh so uh, neither one of these guys are gonna be happy uh because they're not getting what they want so instead let's put a splitter in there pull this guy out pull this guy out now I want nope constructor it's fine get this a little bit more compressed in here I should be do you like that do you like that oh you're a little bit off you're fine oh that's because okay that makes sense all right makes sense makes sense all right so still being to go there and then I'll need to the steel pipes, I think, can go straight into a box. Um, these, I think, need to go into an assembler. So if I put an assembler down here. Um, oh, I can't make those yet. I need to go figure out how to make those in a second. All right. You still not have your resources here? All right. Still thinking about what you've done, huh? Okay. Fine, there, have power. 
All right, so there you go. So now we'll start having steel come out. That will get all divided up nicely. And then once that's all divided up, we'll start making cool stuff. And then we're going to back everything up rather quickly uh, because we can. Actually, this thing probably... Oh, I don't have any on me. Um, I could probably throw a slug in there and speed that up so we're putting 60, or using the, uh, the 60 in and 60 out. Probably not a bad plan. Uh, just because having the extra extra stuff coming in and out of it, uh, we might as well kind of capitalize on that. Because uh, at least 60 and 60 out would give us, you know, 30 on one side. It won't make the still... Actually, no, that would eventually work out well. Because the steel uh, pipe is going to back up fairly quickly. Uh-oh. Just launch that. Uh, here, let's go to tier four. Advanced steel production, so this is a stator, automated wiring, all that stuff. Uh, so that, we'll start working on that next time. Yeah, because I need to get a lot of stuff for that. Ooh, we can get power towers soon and power storage. This is this is probably good things. I like that. Hyper tubes. Uh, so we'll get steel out and I'll start getting some of that saved up. Oh, let me grab my... Uh, Where's my minions at? There they are. Do, 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 do. But coming along nicely. So at least we have steel production. We'll, we will have steel uh, pipes. I think. Do we have. We don't have tier three. I can't remember if we need encased beams or just steel beams. Uh, for tier three belts. And if it's just steel beams for tier three belts, then I will probably start abusing those very soon so we'll drop one of these guys in here and i'm gonna take this guy up and i'm gonna move him just to where we hit 60 in 60 out not really gonna let me all right so uh with that will allow me to do 60 uh so if i do 60 eventually this guy is gonna fill up fairly quickly because uh, he's only going to use 30. So that, that will allow him to run at full speed when he's uh, empty. And then this one, uh, once once this backs up, this will be basically pumping out the steel beams as fast as we can. So it'll be, it'll be great. It'll be glorious. All right. So hopefully you are having a good time. Uh, and uh, as always, hopefully you had a, uh, have happy holidays. Hopefully all that stuff is working out for you. Get some Spend some time with your family and friends, and uh, hopefully all the stuff is happy and eats lots of turkey and foods and, and stuff like that. Uh, but if y'all could, throw a like on the video if you're, if you're watching. Uh, if you're still watching at this point, please. Uh, and then uh, if you have a comment, a question, or a concern, please leave that down below. And if you have not subscribed to the channel already, it does really help me. Uh, we are still kind of pushing to the point to where we can start opening some of the YouTube's uh, uh paid versions uh and that way it allows people to uh to watch and me make a little bit of money uh and then hopefully get some money for charity and then from that you guys be safe and we will talk to y'all next time y'all be safe Bye.